Don't see these much anymore. Two or three years ago we were seeing them all the time. It's an LG 42 LA 620V. I still think it's a smart TV and I still think they've all got their, their apps. Um, it may have lost YouTube, but we can test. As you can see, we've got a faint picture which says input list and close, which means uh, the backlights have failed. Sometimes when you switch these on and off, which we will, you may see a faint flash of the LG logo. Ah, and there it was. I don't know if you saw that or not, so just for effect, this is how we used to know definitely it was the backlights in the old days. There we go. Used to get one little flicker. Um, they are a very nice, sturdy television. And a new set of backlights in these. These are the ones that I've always said you don't... You don't want to go just putting one strip in and keep it going for another month. You really just... You want to put a proper set of backlights in these and then you want to um, put a warranty on it and give it to the customer. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, I have already taken the back off this because I needed to know what screen was inside. Um, LG used two different screens for this one. Uh, and on this particular occasion, I've got the more common LC420 Jew SFU1 but the LC420 Jew guides you to which backlights to use on this always the same power board and always the same main board and depending on what screen always the same TCON a very sturdy, reliable TV, of which we are going to come and, well, we're going to try and bring back to life. I don't see why not. Um, all screws around the side, which I am now going to take out in my own time, because it's a very, very hot night, and I'm in no rush to do anything. We might as well test and see how many are working and how many have failed. For that, we shall dim some lights. That may be enough. Maybe. Let's try the bottom set. Have I got my tester on? No. Oops. The whole of the bottom set is working. And that's it. And that's it. Hmm. I'm not getting much from those. What about the top set? Yeah, top set is working, so it's looking like a fault on this strip here. I mean, we can have a look at that in more detail a bit later on. But for now, I've just got to get the little clips out. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail of this TV because we've done this and this panel several times on this channel. Um, but there are four clips that need to come out so I can take the backlights out. And there's one of them. There's the other. From memory there's one hiding just underneath this main board here. And there's going to be one under the power board. So it does mean Removing them just for a couple of seconds so we can get to the screws. Now, bear in mind that I did switch this TV on. 
albeit only for a few seconds, but it would have charged the main filter cap here, which I'm guessing would go up to 450 volts DC and it could store up to 450 volts. I'm not going to put the, put the multimeter on it, I'm just going to carefully he says, forgetting to take out the last screw. Uh, unlike the LGs that they made after this, you have to take the boards out to get at the clips because there are so many clips, but on this one just four clips, so it's only only a couple of minute job just before we pull them off. Thought it'd be a good idea just to test um, I think we have a tangle of wires. I've got a funny feeling that it's looking like there's a sh ah no. Okay, so the left hand side is working and on the right hand side we can go an LED at a time. So that first one's lit up, the next two are lit up, I don't know if you can see, let me make it really dark, there we are. so we've got two, it tried there, okay. So it's looking like it's the third one along. Yeah, because the others all light up, as you can see. So the reason why the backlights aren't coming on is, is just this LED here, that one. But it's no good just replacing that one on these. Once these start to fail, they really start to fail. And hopefully, I've got a box of goodies. Yeah. <clears throat> and we can replace the whole set. So let's just test that's on R1. Do they all match up? Yes, they do. Okay. These are the ones that don't ping the lenses off. The other model, the six volt model on the LBs, all the lenses ping off. So an L1 goes with an R1. Well, there's an L1. Where's an R1? there. Something with the top set and then an L2 goes with an R2 and vice versa. R2 and L2. You have to get these the right way round for when you put the cover back on, as I'm sure you're well aware. The only thing you have to be careful about when you're doing this is just this little bit here. Just here, just make sure you don't break that when you pull them out. 
Right, this is an L2, needs to go with an R2. There's an L1. If ever you get confused about the L2s and the R1s, if you look closely just down here, and I'll do it on the camera, I'm sure I've shown this before, but it, it does actually show you. Um, it's engraved in the screen itself, which particular strip number goes. There you can see it says R2. Hopefully you can see that. And you know, again, R2, and underneath there will be R1. And again, on this side, You can see it says L1, so I guess there is an L2. I can see it just faintly on these, but it is engraved on the screen itself. Peel off the sticky back from your new ones. If you've ordered your lights from eBay or China, they should all come with double-sided tape on the back. It's a bit fiddly, but once you start, it's um, it's okay. And the best way to get these in is to put them, put the right side in first, and then you know. Everything else just levels up. No need to rush it. Do it at your own pace. Master them all in. Let's just plug them back into the power board and plug the power board into the mains and see if they all come up. Or do I have to plug the switch in? Nope. Every single one of them, sorry, you're getting a bit of a flicker, so I'll switch off. They're going to come back on, which is good. I'll just put it all back together and give it a test. Just put the LVDS cables in, they look level. You can never tell 100%, so obviously I'm going to plug in and test. No, something's not right. I didn't get the LG logo, so maybe it was this one. They feel good to me. Hmm. Strange.
Ah, sorry. I haven't plugged the T-Con in. So I wasn't getting the LG logo on test. But now I am. So I can start to assemble the rest of it. Just as a gentle reminder with this particular set, because it's different to the 540V and the 575 and the 578V, the 620V chassis has a slightly different IR sensor and a slightly different build on the bottom, even though the stands are exactly the same. Um, but on these, you are expected to remember at all times these two screws here. So not just screws on the back, but there are screws on the bottom. And these actually, they do actually <laughs> um, guide the IR sensor into place and just keep that all nice and sturdy. So if you've ever had trouble taking one of these off and you think you've taken all the screws out, you will possibly miss these two, which they've hidden underneath. Because that's the sort of people that they are. Right, this has not been a terribly exciting fix because it's an old TV and I've done many videos on this before. So if you've come across this video because you happen to have a 42LA 620V, which has got the backlight issue, you're getting the flicker of the LG, just search through the rest of my videos. There will be a video that does a step-by-step -step guide on, um, on how to fix it. Um, but here in the community, we've done quite a few of these, so... Um, it's just kind of a, a catch-up video, really. But what I am interested to do with this, and again, using the um, using the LG service remote, I shall reset it in a second. I'll take the bright lights off. Hopefully that's going to be okay. Switch the TV on. I've put a... I'm oh, sorry, the dog's getting wound up. Right. Oh my goodness, there doesn't seem to be anything on here. Where's all the apps gone, man? Yes, let's configure the network. Well, wow. have we got to that stage now when? Um, I'll do this camera as well here. We'll pop this one up in a second. Just to show you what I'm trying to do. Right, I think we're connected, so I'm just going to go to... Ah, well, no, we've got... I thought it was strange. Just wasn't connected to the internet. Your consent is necessary to provide this service. Okay, I've never seen that message before. Um, maybe the people who own this TV, I'm repairing it for a customer, but maybe they don't use it as a smart TV. The night of the dogs. I'm just testing. I'm just hoping I've got some audio. The two bright dots you can see are not backlights. They are little studio lights here. Hey! Right, that's all I wanted, just a bit of audio, just to prove that I can switch the lights off now. Screen wants a bit of a clean-up. And I will give it a bit of a clean-up, but um, 
it's fixed it's back up and running so just a quick one and a quick a quick high and um, I think we've got a Panasonic 58 inch LED with a mainboard problem stuck on the Panasonic logo coming up next um, but thanks for watching I'll see you again soon cheers bye bye